All right, uh, good to see you, and glad you're here to watch this video. It's going to be a quick one on parallel and perpendicular lines, just a quick review. All right, so let's first do a parallel line. So I want to find a line parallel to y equals 2 thirds x minus 7, passing through the point 4 comma 3. And I'm going to put in all three forms. When you do the worksheet today, make sure you read what form it wants because I don't have on every question all three forms. All right? So what we need to know about parallel is parallel means same slope. Okay, so the slope here is two-thirds. Remember, the slope is the number in front of x. When it's in slope-intercept form, it's the number in front of x written as a fraction. So the slope you're going to use here is two-thirds. All right, so let's go ahead and work through all three forms just like we were doing in class. Now, regardless of what form you are putting it in, you always want to start with point-slope form. All right, so you're going to have y minus y1, which is 3, equals the slope. The slope is 2 thirds times x minus 4. Okay, and now you have uh, point slope form. Now, to get into slope intercept form, you need to distribute. So you're going to have y minus 3 equals 2 thirds x minus 8 thirds. Okay, now if you're having trouble doing that distributing there, you can just over to the side do 2 over 3 times 4 over 1. And you will get 8 over 3. Now we said from here we really not want to work with the fractions. We'd rather not. So let's multiply everything by 3. Okay, now if you do that, every single part gets multiplied by 3. You're going to have 3y minus 9. Again, every single part is going to get multiplied by 3. So that's why we have 3y. That's why we have 3 times 3 is 9. Then the 3 is going to cancel here to give us 2x. The 3 is going to cancel here to give us minus 8. <clears throat> okay, so now we want to get y by itself for slope-intercept form. So we're going to add 9 to each side. And we're going to have 3y equals 2x plus 1. Now, because I can see when I divide by 3, I'm going to get my fractions back. Remember, I was showing you this in class. To get standard form, I don't want fractions. So I'm just going to write this down over here and use that to find my standard form. Okay, But I can continue and solve for y here. Divide everything by 3. And you're going to have y equals 2 thirds x plus one-third, and that is your slope-intercept form. Your worksheet today is going to ask you to do slope-intercept form and standard form. All right, so now let's get standard form out of this, and that's where x and y are on the same side. So we want to subtract 2x to the other side. Okay, it did that. So I have negative 2x plus 3y equals 1. And now you do not want a negative in front of x, so divide everything by negative 1. And you've got 2x minus 3y equals negative 1. And that would be your standard form. Now, that example gets you through everything, no matter what kind of line that you're doing. right? So if they ask you to do perpendicular, I'm not going to actually do an example of this, but if they ask you to do perpendicular, you need to know that this means the slopes are opposite reciprocals. That's what you got to know. Okay, so if the slopes are opposite reciprocals, and let's say they give you y equals 3 fourths x minus 2, well then the slope that you're going to use is going to be the reciprocal of this, which means to flip it over, 4 over 3, and then the opposite. And this would be the perpendicular slope. 
Okay, because again, I flipped over the slope and changed its sign. If they were to give me y equals negative 5x plus 3, for perpendicular, my slope would be the opposite of this reciprocal. So this is actually 5 over 1. When I flip it, it becomes 1 over 5. And opposite sign. So it'll now be positive. Now you don't have to write the positive sign. I'm just trying to kind of put that in your head. So again, if you have just a whole number, put it over 1, flip it over, and now you've got your perpendicular slope. Okay, they might give you y equals negative 5 eighths x plus 7. So what would be your perpendicular slope? It would be slope equals the opposite reciprocals. The reciprocal is 8 over 5. The opposite of a negative is positive. And that would be the perpendicular slope. And then if you were supposed to put it in slope intercept or standard form, you'd do the exact same work as what we did up here for parallel. Just again, the difference is when I have parallel, it's the same slope. When I have perpendicular, it is opposite reciprocals for the slope. Slopes are opposite reciprocals. All right, so that should get you going. You got a worksheet to do today. Get on that, and I will see you in class later this week. Everybody have a great day.